Okay, well, I'm going to continue our discussion with uh, Perl and working with files. Uh, again, this is uh, sort of some introduction to Perl also. And I want to talk about using lists and arrays in Perl. So a list in Perl is an ordered collection of scalar variables. And an array is an, a, a type that that contains a list. So it's common, and I know in the class we'll probably be using these sort of interchangeably, um, but these are the, the formalized definitions. So a list is where you have an ordered collection and then an array contains a list. Elements are the individual values of a, a list or an array. So here's an example of just a, um, a list. You can see it's, it's rather simple. I've got a list that just contains one, two, and three. That, those are the individual elements. You could also make a list with just saying the dot dot to say um, a sequential list, one sequentially through 100. Uh, and you can see I, now I also can make a list uh, where I've got each individual element are strings. So these are just some um, ordered lists. An array is this idea where you could actually have um, a list of lists, if you want to think of it that way. So you could set array and an index number and then set the item. So in this example, I'm setting the array of rocks and the individual element numbers two different variables but those variables again are right now they're strings but they could also be a, a list so that can make things a little bit confusing um, so for simplicity's sake in this example my array is just a a list of single element variables if you want to be able to work with the entire array uh, use the at symbol. So again, I wanted to, I set up an array called rocks. Uh, I want to set the entire um, array and I can say at rocks and then set the entire array very, very simply. Um, it should be aware that arrays start at element zero. So if I were to say print rocks one, meaning element one, it would print slate because bedrock is element zero. If I wanted to print the entire array, uh, I could say print uh, the entire array and it would, it would print out the entire thing. So I don't even have to know how many elements are in the array. I can just say print the entire array. If I wanted to print the value of the length of the array, you could say print and I just want the scalar value of the entire array. So in this case, the print scalar at rocks would say equal to three. Um, you can also say, you can also, you know, populate the, the, the array by using your uh, list. And I can see I've got a typo right there. Um, that should be one dot dot 100. I'll, I'll make sure to change that. But that would, that would be a way of saying at rocks um, 1 through 100. Here's an example where, um, I, again, I like the uh, for each item in list. So you can use that also for an array. So you can say for each rock item in the array rocks, uh, print and then work with that individual variable. So this would cycle through and for every item in the array rocks, it will print out the work, the, the variable rock. And that variable rock, that string rock is just a, a placeholder that could be for each X in rocks or for each item in rocks. Um, it's really just a, a placeholder for you to use. Let's talk a little bit about file handles now. You remember, recall your, your file handles from Linux when we're talking about our standard in 
standard out, standard error. Uh, this is our 0, 1, and 2 uh, file handles in Linux. Uh, Perl honors these, so what we're going to be talking about is just the opening and closing of these, these file handles. So you could say you want to open a file handle, and you can define your own file handle, like say config, and then you can work with uh, that file handle called config. So you could open it by saying open config, which you define yourself. You're using your standard in, and your then the file name would be um, should actually include the full file path and the file name. Uh, the second example there, open and I, you can just arbitrarily choose, again, any file handle you want. It doesn't have to be standard in, standard out, standard error. I'm going to say open log, and that's just my placeholder for using the word log later on. And I'm going to append to the whatever path and file name there. You should also, as good practice, make sure that you close whatever file handle you start using. So you can do something like um, while config, and that again was just the config file handle that I chose. So while config do something, or print to, instead of the standard out, print to the log file handle some error message. So these are really handy ways of, of using file handles. If you've got multiple file handles open and you wanna be able to change the file handle while you're you're using it you can do something like select file handle and do something so maybe you want to um, instead of instead of the uh, config file handle you want to select the log file handle and print errors or select log to file handle and print a different error so you have multiple file handles and multiple ways of of selecting them um, here's an interesting thing that you can do with file handles. So I'm going to say uh, open the file handle. I'm going to call it words. And I'm going to use standard input and the word file with the path and the, the file name. And now I'm going to say my array of words is equal to uh, that file handle. So and then, and then, of course, always close the words. So what this has done is actually opened a text file and populated an entire array with um, the, the contents of that text file. Last couple things I want to talk about here are just this concept of um, rent using random in Perl. Uh, it's a built-in function just called rand and it, what it does is rand allows you to select a number between zero and whatever number you define. So if you were to say, for example, ran 10, this would give you a random number between zero and nine. If you don't want it to be uh, a fraction, you want it to just be an integer, you'd have to say use int rand zero to 10. Um, you can also do things like, uh, if you've got an array, and you wanted a, a random array element, you could say random array element equals your, your array and choose a random number of the, and remember at means the entire array. So random is going to impose a scalar in this sense. So you, the starting from the right hand side, rand at my array chooses a random element out of the entire array so my array element number is now going to be set to the random element array a random array element I should say so again effectively that's choosing a random element from your entire array pragmas and Perl pragmas are just a, a method of, of setting up your entire Perl script um, there are two pragmas that you probably want to uh, set in your Perl scripts. Those are the use warnings and the use strict. Um, use warnings will just let you, um, or I should say, will let Perl alert you when it sees something weird in your script. Uh, use strict will 
try to restrict your Perl scripts to not allow you to do something unsafe where you, where you could, um, say, accidentally delete files off the system or something like that. So uh, use strict and use warnings, again, are just are good uh, pragmas to use in your Perl scripts.